Okay, this is a female great horn owl that I just picked up that um, had been visiting a vet's office for uh, a couple of days, having uh, been rescued from somebody's pasture uh, where she had a guy wire. I don't know if, how well you can tell, but her um, the eyes are, the pupils are kind of fixed and dilated. There's, there's a little bit of pupillary reaction to light, um, but not much. So I'm gonna, I had him start with the Medicam. That's a non-steroid anti-inflammatory. And that, um, uh, it's just a good all around analgesic. The bird did have some lacerations that he sewed up, but, um, Okay, that's, that's the Medicam. You can do that twice a day. So she also has a boo-boo foot that I'm going to put some C90 on. She's trying to, to relax. I don't know if I, if I have the um, camera high enough that she can see her feet. Um, let me see. It's okay, little girl. Yeah, so she is trying to relax at least. She does have um, some flat flies. So, <clears throat> so this stuff is um, ivermectin. And you use it just like spot on in the back of the neck. Do it transdermally. They don't have really fleas and ticks like our terrestrial critters do, but they have their own brand of um, ectoparasites. This is the C90. This is the stuff that I irrigated Francis's foot with for that three months. No pumpkin pie. Now he wasn't, he didn't have any mice, so he didn't have anything to feed her except cat food, and she didn't take it that very well. So I'm going to see if I can get her to eat some mice. And of course, this is the affected side. This is the side that has the lacerations up uh, on the humerus. But um, there aren't any defects in the cornea, so I'm going to start with some um, uh, steroid eye drops. And you can probably see the nictitating membrane. It's all right, pumpkin. The nictitating membrane is that third island that they pull across to um, moisten the cornea. It sweeps debris off the front part of the eye, and it uh, it acts like uh, as a um, uh, you know as a, a barrier. Let me see if I can zoom in a little closer. I'm going to try to give her some food without her tearing me to shreds. She's bitten me once already. Oop. And my, um, my tripod is a little bit sucky. Kind of tilting to the left, unlike me. <laughs> Pull, pull one leg out. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can get her to eat a little something. Owls prefer to swallow their food whole. But sometimes you have to cut it in little pieces and, um, uh, you know, just give them little tidbits until they get the, until they get the idea. Now, uh, when they're little babies, these are the rectal bristles. This is the first thing that really starts to grow. And, uh, and they, they can't really see at that point. And when mom and daddy come to the nest, they rub the food on those rectal bristles. And it's sort of like whiskers on a cat. It stimulates them to open their mouth. And... Now, let's see what she does with it. Come on, monkey girl. 
Come on, you can do it. Come on. Well, I have to cut his little head off to get you going. I don't mind. I do what I have to do. Okay. All right, let's try this again, shall we? And this little brain's just leaked out. Come on. Come, there you go. Come on. Come on. Eat a little food. Come on. It's okay. Eat a little food. You'll feel so much better. Okay? Here we go. Come on. There you go. Oh, good girl. Oh, my goodness. That's wonderful. Here's a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Good girl. I don't know how long she was laying there, so this could be her first food in, in a few days. Now, I take that back. The guy that picked him up said he was working that pasture because he's a cattle farmer. And he was in that pasture um, like the previous evening, and, uh, and she wasn't there. And it was during the rain, too, so she was bedraggled. And if we had smell-o-vision, she smells like skunk. Come on. There's a good girl. You swallow that mousy. Come on. Here, I'll cut the tail off to make it a little easier. Bink. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Come on. There's a good girl. Come on. Is that metal? Come on. Complete with sound effects. There we go. She was, I felt her keel and she's very well fleshed out, making a wonderful living in the wild. Um, and it's just a shame, you know, all these man made obstacles cause problems for our little wildlife friends. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more, and then we'll give you a little spritz. Oh, she smells like skunk. We were talking about smell of vision before I got sidetracked. It's a, um, it's an old skunk smell, so it's been, there's, could have been months ago that she dined on skunk for supper. She came from ball ground, and that's sort of like the dividing line from where, where we have, oops, where we have skunks. I don't know if she's going to be able to get her vision back. It's the only thing. And uh, the female great horns are uh, so aggressive. Um, are we done? Okay. Now if I come back out and this food is gone, I don't know if I've got the camera back far enough, then I will be so happy. That means that she would have been able to see well enough to find static food. So I'm going to give her a little spritz. She hadn't had a, well she was got rained on the other day, but spritz and a mop will, will force them to um, preen. She does have stitches in her shoulder, so I'll have to um, follow up with Dr. Martinez. Get her stitches thing about. There we go. Okay, now this is tape has run way long, 
so um yeah almost 10 minutes okay all right that's uh that's it from hawk talk central we'll keep you in touch thanks for your mouse money donations